Hey guys, um, Alman here. Uh, back in Kadoka, and last time, um, I game overed. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, most of you probably don't understand what the Herald of Chaos thing is all about. And, uh, for those of you who don't, uh, okay, that's fine. Um, anyway, uh, this would be a good time for me to create an alternate save. Because, um, I want to show you guys something later on in the game. Because I'm actually really close. Oh yeah, found out that you can save anywhere. But, um, I'm going to create a new save here. And, uh, I'm going to actually save over this temporary file to the right. And, um, yeah, um... Turns out, whenever I went looking about that gargoyle to see if there was anything there, turns out he's an optional boss, and um, I need to do a lot of grinding before I can even try to step up to him. But uh, also, there's an item that is absolutely essential to beating the game, and is incredibly missable right here. It's this pendant. And uh, from what I've heard, you have to equip it to Fidelka, and so I will. Badge. Yeah, over the badge. The badge would be a better idea. Since uh, my INT score can be boosted. do anything for him overall. Mm -hmm. Not over the earth ring. There we go. That works. That's what I want to see. Okay, uh, like I said, very, very easy to miss that. There's also a high whistle here and a couple other things around the map. Um, I've been grinding up uh, not too many levels, but a few magic levels. Uh, back to where Megalith is level 2. I've also got uh, level 2 Vitality and uh, Agility on Edward, and I've got level 2 Vitality and Agility on Kadelka, so. Or no, level 3 of those on Kadelka, so. Yeah. Nope, not going into the church. Church is suicide. Um, couldn't help but find out that uh, I am absolutely really, really close to the end. And, uh, ooh, battle. Just for my own sake, just to show it off. Doesn't seem quite worth the uh, 32 MP that you have to use, but at the same time, that's nine per thing, and he's actually one of the faster characters I have with the pistol. So, yeah. That's. that's. I did it. I also heard that uh, whenever you get to around level 40 something, you can actually go and beat the uh, gargoyle, which I was going to try just for completion's sake. Uh, you can probably tell recording is a little different. Uh, I changed one setting here. 
and that's actually I'm not using my uh, wireless headset. I'm using the actual built-in mic, so you may actually be hearing the computer fan right now. Nothing I can do about that yet. Um, whenever I get a job, or the job, or you guys start really being awesome and contributing, um, I'm going to try and get myself a gaming headset, and I know I'm saying um, to where I can actually just listen to everything and record at my own pace. But yeah, uh, because, again, this is really cryptic and where to go and everything else, but then again, that's probably because I didn't listen to Roger Bacon in the first place. Journal. I want you to tell us whether what's written there can actually happen or not. Well, let me see. Hmm. Yes, yes, I see. Oh, that's right. Resurrecting the dead. Hmm. A cauldron. The brown tails, indeed. Yes, it is most likely that the events detailed here did take place. Just as I thought. But, but that's so frightening that if the... I have not attempted it. I am certain that the gray document contained accounts of secret rituals conducted to resurrect the dead. But I can tell from reading this, it involves complicated preparatory work. I had given up discerning the impossibility of using the psychic power necessary to create such an immediate psychic platform. And moreover, I never expected people would attempt to challenge such a... The journals say that the physical body was resurrected, but not the soul. Absolutely. The ancients held the secrets of life in the palm of their hands. <laughs> but they could never come close to touching the secrets of the soul. They resurrected dead in order to use their physical bodies as a workforce it's building the greatest civilization we all time speak of in fact we would not be far off called them puppeteers <laughs> exploiting the human body as an object if so then we yeah, can... resurrecting the dead and restoring them to life as it was before death is impossible then how do you return the bodies again to Earth. That is a very complicated question. It already defies universal logic. Please. It is no task. Tell me how. It's really laying God your soul wanted. Right. <laughs> it is not absolutely impossible. <laughs> need to call for the sacred power in order to complete such feat. Hmm. Oh, yes. I know that the arm of Daniel Scotius, the man who built this monastery, is stored in a stone statue on the ground. destroy the roots of the tree. What? Oh, after that, I haven't a clue whether to call forth energy, fire, or entrust task to water. Oh, it is so complicated. Fire. Oh, what? what are we going to do? Oh, heavenly father. Bless our souls and forth and to stop our 
I bet he needs a cigarette after that. Oh, I like that character. He is an overacting absolute charm, and I actually like that this is one of the first games, from what I can tell, the really fully embraced voice actors instead of, uh, I know Resident Evil did that better, but this is actually, there's no dialogues that are in text, or very, very few of them. There's only the observations in text, and that's, uh, again, very Resident Evil, and very early survival horror, and I actually really like the fact that this game has its own little certain place in history, and now will have in my heart. Uh, now, I should be nearing the end of disc one. And, uh, or rather disc three. And I want to actually stay away from that altar for now. trying to put that shot sometimes. And after this battle, I'm going to cut it. Not really a short episode, not really a long episode, but I know. Uh, you guys are probably wondering why I'm going to cut it, but we learned a lot and we found out one thing that you have, or there's an actual item that is necessary to win the actual game. And I'll show you the, that little thing, too, because it sounds awesome. And if I don't show it to you, I will feel guilty. This would actually be a good place for me to stop and grind for levels, too. He needs to up his uh, piety anyway. We all kind of need to up a few more stats just to get into the range where we're supposed to be. Two thousand, and it's still alive. Ooh. I don't care about the scorpion anymore. That's got to die. There we go. Scorpion's gonna get his soon. Oh, I passed Flare? I passed Flare. I passed Geyser. Our Geyser! Believe it or not, I am a huge fighting game fan. Um, not really good at any of them, but if I ever get my PS3 up and running, I'll let you know what I have, and if you want to challenge me, fine. I'm up for it. Okay, um, going to leave that a couple, leave that a couple. Okay, well, I will catch you guys on the flip side.